I'll give it back. Um, so, one thing that's pretty bonkers that I've actually thought about, like this is really, really bonkers, like not just a little bit of bonkers, but this is like serious bonkers, is when you think about the fact that we got Umbrella, I think the Umbrella like is insanely strong, that that's like stronger, taking your attack power wise, it's stronger than a Princess Guard, I believe. And it has like the highest crit, it has like 8% chance to crit. And basically, yes, it has no like slots or whatever, but right now, currently, this is like comparable to like the Nail Bat and like weapons of that class, which you know are all like high damage weapons, or at least for the most part, all of them are pretty, pretty high damage. But of course, the trade-back is you have no material slots. But then, of course, if you have a lot of material slots in your other things, or you know, when you reach the point of having a lot of like, you know, materials mastered, you know, then, you know, it's different, you know. You know, so yeah. So we're gonna be continuing here at the current prison here. And uh, there are things that I thought about maybe to grind in, you know, but we will see if we will do it or not. Now sadly, of course, Barrett has the other ring here, so I'm just gonna go with the white cape, but the thing is of course that uh, that there is and I believe the character you go with get points uh, if I remember correctly, but we're actually gonna go to another place and we're gonna go to basically where we turn off the encounters, which was here basically so now we're actually gonna be going inside a pipe here if we can reach there okay, those are the pretty, pretty good things that we can get here and we can, I believe they, they get it by landscaper. No, they do not get it by landscaper, sadly. Oh yeah, we want to do this here. Uh, um, yes, I should use with my... With my land. For some reason they don't... Yeah, they don't attack, right? Yeah. Dice. Ah, but of course, because we're attacking K now, we're going to be and run kills, so... We're going to be doing that just for a little while here. Uh, we're actually going to go down here because the pipe here such as of course the thing is you can actually get battles in here and the battle are fixed if i remember correctly like the, you always get this battle at least that's what it seems like i always seem to be getting this battle here <sighs> which you know it's not bad it's really really good but then the thing i feel like almost like yeah gauntlet i'm ready okay good so that's the gauntlet uh, which of course is hers, the first one here. And Gauntlet, by the way, is really, really good. So we only need to use Gauntlet a few times here. And the thing is that this encounter seems to always be fixed here in Pipe, you always get that encounter. So, and that encounter is not really that bad in terms of like the RP, I forgot exactly what it gave. But yeah. And of course, Manipulate is so good. Uh, if you want enemy skills, then Manipulate is the way to go. Uh, there are a lot of them, like enemies won't use them on you uh, unless you, you know, you push the enemy skill. So we just go to the gauntlet, on the other hand, is used, you know, when it's straight up always hits you. A gauntlet actually kind of has weaker power uh, than what the other thing has, but the gauntlet is the thing with all gauntlet can hit all enemies. It's uh, it just, you know, the other thing is just like tied to earth. I believe it cartons earth elemental, although I don't know if if it, you know, if it says that anywhere that it is Earth Elemental, because I do believe it counts like that, because it seems like things that are weak against Earth, like more damage from it, or maybe it has a higher chance to crit, because Limit Breaks can crit, by the way. You might not know that, that Limit Breaks can crit. Because Manplex Dice is very interesting how that's calculated. Dice is calculated kind of by level, but I believe it's also the times you use it or something like that, I forgot exactly what it was. It's interesting there also, if you look closer there on the pipe, you can actually see, uh, you know, how you just need to use the concept so many times. So I mean, it's four or it's two each time. So then we go to more believing she does than you two, so that. I do want the living worse her ultimate limit break, uh, which is nice. Very nice. But the thing is, of course, that these enemies don't really attack you. Uh, like, you need to attack them first and then they can stop attacking you, or they can use, you know, it's up to do absolutely nothing, you know. So, yeah, we can use dice to mold down. 
I believe it's actually, yeah, he needs kills, it's not just, yeah, you see, the, it's for 2000. The thing is, dice, uh, before actually in the speedruns, uh, way back in the day, people used to use slots more, and stuff that didn't rely on actually Kate side for speedrunning rather than uh, the thing with the Tifa thing. And it looks like a katana there if you see, for example. It looks like a katana there that's killed something down here, you know, so yeah, it's very, very interesting. And supposedly there's a healing encounter here that you sadly cannot get, of course. You can see there, even if you get pretty, pretty low numbers, it's like, it starts out with two dices, but then eventually it becomes three dices, and I think it goes all the way up to like five or something dices. And like, yeah, you can deal a lot of damage with dice, the thing, you know, is, but yeah. It is a dice, of course, you know, so, you know, you can deal sometimes low damage, sometimes you deal high damage, but sometimes, you know, if you, for example, get double sixes, it's a lot of damage. And then, you know, triple sixes, quadruple sixes, you know, when, you know, like, yeah. The thing is also, because of the way Kate's set works, and because of the high health value, and it's only being, like, a level one little big, means that you can feel it very quickly, you don't need to get hit by it. So, the thing with Kate's set is that Kate's set will have his impacts very often now, of course, I'm using the thing now to use the instant to feel the, the impacts, you know. And this is something I should have used earlier. Just for all purpose of grinding, you know, because, you know, that's what we're doing, yes. It makes the grind easy, because normally you would have to use your magic, and then you used up your magic, and then you run out of magic, and then you would have to go back and use a tent. But it's not like exactly that getting out of tents is hard, you know, if you spend a kill on it, you know, and you only get all 2,400 damage right there. I think that might have been two sixes, I, or, yeah, those, that's worth two ones, right, so that's 400, that's the lowest it can be right now, 400. Uh, that's 700. Or I think it might be uh, 3,200 from two things. But I believe the way the dice works is if you get a pair, if you get double of something, then that more deals more damage. So for example, getting a 4 and a 5 is not as good as getting a 4-4 four, four or something, if I remember correctly the way the dice works. Because I think it works after a certain game. Is it Yahtzee? I forgot there is something with dices where I don't remember if that's something else to do or if it's just whoever rolls the highest or whatever. Oh no, Yahtzee is getting a certain number right with dice. There was a 6 and a 3 there, so that's just 900. That was a 1 and a 3, 400. So you might say, oh, it's a damage of each, but then like 6 6 should just be like 1200, but that's untrue. Like, it kind of doubles it or something. I forgot exactly how the math works. Yeah. This is a pretty good kind of by the way, you know. I'm actually going to be using something more great to show you. Boost. Oh. Oh. And of course, you only get 4 each time. And it's a bit annoying with how it's set up, of course. But you know, it's 80, it's 80 AP each time, basically. And this means 10 battles, that's 800 AP. If you think about it that way, like you get a lot of AP very, very quickly via it, you know, and stuff that, like... Like 800 from 10 battles. 100 battles would be 8,000 basically if you do 100 battles and it takes a it takes a while but imagine for example if you have like a way to target both sides you know that would have been great you know and of course uh, Yuffie has a very high hit right now, but if you think about one thing here is Lane is Yuffie, uh, doesn't have any offensive uh, things, so she has nothing that really increases her health. You have here like, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He has 12% less HP right now with that value, and that's at level 27 compared to level 13 both Lord and uh, Yuffie, so yeah. So the Kate side is very very tanky in the beginning, like 
the thing is, I don't have as much health as I had on the character on the training file. On the training file, mind you, that's probably maybe because I was high level, but uh, it started with uh, like 1500 health or something like that. Which it might actually still have if I murdered the material. So I don't know exactly, but yeah. I think it's just Kate's side has a lot of starting health, that's the only thing about it, you know. Except Kate's side starts with a bit lower level in Yuffie compared to Yuffie, but that's because Yuffie is a special character, you know. Like a lot of the hidden characters are supposed to be really, really, really strong in certain parameters, you know, like because it's a secret character that can play. Which is why I believe Yuffie ain't in any cutscene. And same thing with Vincent, they aren't in the cutscenes because they're not part of the main cast, they're supposed to be secret characters. You know, I think that's gonna do it because we have 8,000 now. I think that should be enough. Um, there's of course one battle that is really, really annoying if we happen to get, though. But it's better. We haven't gotten uh, for uh, Chocobo in a while here, though. By the way, there's a way to get that thief from the stop from the mule. That's a scary, yeah, you saw that, right? He can steal actual items from you. And that's the thing, like, yeah, I'm fine with it stealing, like, like potions, eye potions. Not elixir or mega elixir, but, you know, the fact that he can steal your peace rings. Or like accessories, you know, and stuff that, you know, like, yeah, you can just buy those accessories. But the thing is, you know, like, he can also steal weapons from you, by the way. So, so imagine stealing the umbrella and then, like, escaping because you have the three times speed on Imagine if they get, like, if you're back attacked and then, you know, you manage to see something and then get away and they stole your umbrella and then you're like, you know. There's a thing you can do here, actually. This is interesting. You do this here. Oh, because you can always speak to him now, you know. Blah, blah, blah. The thing is now, they basically have like home guards here, they are supposed to 